Uh, let's paste it in the chat. Okay, cool. Uh, 703, cave largest element in a stream. Design a, a class to find the cave largest element in a stream. Know that it is the cave largest element in the sorted order, not the cave distinct element. Okay. Uh, yeah. We assume that numbs are... <coughs> Okay, I mean, wait, what? At least the uh, constructor that it would okay, contains initial item and then okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. I do wonder what case uh, is greater than case. Okay. I do wonder what the constraint is on cave. Okay, in general, just because that matters, maybe tell me how you want to do it. But I think the uh, the kind of the the typical uh, uh, um, yeah the the kind of the standard way to solve this is by using a heap, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's mostly yeah, and you only keep the cave largest elements so uh okay largest elements and then yeah and then the add just kind of adds to the heap and then you return what's on uh the bottom of the, the uh yeah and then you just return the element that kind of fits in um hmm. yeah so basically what you want is you want a heap uh, that contains well, I guess initially at least all the uh, that contains all the numbers that yeah, it's just the top k elements. I think that's mostly it. Okay, actually, I don't. I'm gonna do some quick googling. I actually don't remember if uh, there's a heap class already in C sharp. Uh, maybe I could use C plus plus or priority queue. But, Cause I'm st not gonna lie, I'm still a little lazy, so I'm gonna try to use the uh, the standard libraries as much as as I can. But uh, okay, well, okay, well, okay, maybe I'll just use Python instead then, and then that, okay, that the part that I actually kind of know. So okay. Mm. So we start with the so that heap is equal to um hmm. yeah how to use it no it's just in a way I guess okay um. So first, okay, yeah, I guess we would just push all the numbers into the queue heap. I mean, it's slightly technically less efficient, but unless the numbers are huge, it should be okay. Uh, maybe not. Actually, we'll just use add. Okay. Okay, and then add we just and then now we could just do everything at once. Um, hmm. Okay, so we want to use mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yep. So you want to mm -hmm. Mm 
Okay, we like okay, so the heat and and the value. Oh, this. Oops. Okay, so we just push all the elements on the thing, and then we. Uh, so this is going to be wrong, but. But uh, just want to make sure that we have it in the correct sorting order. Yes. Okay. Keep push. Oh. Keep Q that hit push. Okay. So. So this is a min heap. Um, which is, uh, yeah, it's actually probably what you want because uh, you want a min heap uh, that you only insert if, uh, yeah, it's less than k. So okay, while. So while the size is. Uh, Is greater than k. We do a heap pop. Oops. Oops. That doesn't do anything. Oh. Uh, I guess that's right, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this should be right. Um, but uh, this is such a the, the the syntax for testing is a little annoying, so I'm just gonna submit because I'm mostly because I'm lazy. And I don't really, I mean, this is like 10 lines of code. So, yeah, I mean, uh, so yeah, I would say anytime you you um, you see a problem or, or you do an interview with kind of uh, getting the cave largest element, uh, the uh, 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 two things kind of will kind of uh, uh, will jump or should jump at you. One is kind of um, if you need to maintain some kind of uh, 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 running count type thing, then I, it's usually probably a heap because then you, know, you get that logarithmic time for, uh, you know, so it's, uh, you go through this, uh, so where's the complexity? is actually n log k, right? Because you have a log k operation. Uh, of, this is uh, log k because you have at most k elements in the heap um, and you do this n times. Uh, so it's n log k uh, and in general, uh, that's how it's just going to win. Uh, and I think the other thing that might happen is if you do some sort of a variation on the median finding, uh, then maybe you uh, 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 do, do like a divide and conquer type thing. Uh, but I mean, that's not the case here, but I think those are the two algorithms that we think about when you need to think of, uh, 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 and, and this case, like some really small constant, then you can maybe do something even more, ha or, yeah, more hacky, but... I think that's kind of the way I would kind of think about it. Um, I think that, um, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I, so what I'm thinking now is like, well, is this form fit for an interview? Um, I think as an interview E, you know, it's a fine form. Uh, I don't think, I think it's a little too easy maybe. It's just like, hey, do you know this data structure, right, which you never really want to do or you never, you don't want to spend 40 minutes just asking someone whether they know. Uh, how a heap works, uh, whether that's true or not, or like whether that's uh, uh, something that you need or not, uh, uh, that's just not, you know, like a good use of time. There's no discovery, there's no back and forth. It's just, hey, you know, you got to implement. And yeah, I mean, like if you want to force the interviewee to kind of implement heap, then that's even more dubious because it's like, well, is this an algorithm that you remember? I mean, I think I'm. 
I probably can implement it if I have to, but like that's not a great interview question. Uh, I think as an interviewer, I don't, those are the reasons why I would not kind of put this in an interview. Uh, and it's, yeah, I mean, I, 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 as an interviewer, I generally encourage people to kind of use the standard libraries as much as they can. Uh, so I don't, so I don't believe in kind of like force constraints unless there's some like really, you know, like really good compelling reason, which I, I don't know, I haven't thought of one yet. Uh, so I don't think I would put this in anywhere. I mean, I but but I have put like this or like something similar to this problem uh, as a component of an of another interview question. Uh, uh, so so that's definitely possible. Um, and I do believe people should know heap and party cues and stuff like that in general. That is coming uh, uh, from time to time. Uh, so, um, but you know. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think that's what I would say about this. So th this is something, or this kind of idea, this concept is something that I would put uh, uh, as part of a bigger problem, but I don't think I would kind of just leave this by itself.